Last year, the United Nations is celebrating its 70th anniversary, and present during its founding days was none other than Miss Juliana Ku. We're here at the pier. Miss Ku is joined by over 200 friends and family in celebrating her 110th birthday, as well as her recently published novel, 109 Spring Times, My Story. With 110 years of life under her belt, many have asked Juliana Ku what her secret to longevity is. In past years, she answered with advice such as don't exercise, eat all the butter you want, don't take medicine, and and don't look back. But overall, Juliana Ku is best known for her positive approach to life, responding to the question this year with... Yeah, every day is a good, it's a good day. <laughs> every day is a good day. <laughs> Among the over 200 guests in attendance were daughters Shirley and Genevieve Young, widowed son-in-law Oscar Tang, many grandchildren and great-grandchildren, as well as friends, community figureheads, and many others whose lives and livelihoods have been touched by Mrs. Ku's 110-year-old legacy, including Met curator Maxwell Hearn and designer Han Fung, Shirley Young's Shanghai neighbor who designed for the Met's Madame Butterfly, an opera featured at a past birthday party. She's really taught me some wonderful lessons. One is to look at life always as the glass is half full. And the second one is really to be very inclusive. She's extremely tolerant, and so she befriends almost everybody through that approach. 110 is really something, and she's a model for all of us, a role model for how to live life and how to live life positively and with real passion. She's my neighbor, she's my mentor, my friend, my mother. This family is like a very special. Juliana Ku has been a mainstay of the Chinese American community for decades. And this is a community that believes not only in getting ahead, but also in giving back. They're also exceedingly generous. The beauty of Juliana Ku's life is not just how many important historical events it spans, but how she, an ordinary woman, so optimistically dealt with the turbulence of changing times, becoming an extraordinary woman as a result. This birthday party also celebrated Mrs. Ku's recently published book, 109 Springtimes, My Story, which details how she went from campus beauty to wife of diplomat Clarence Young to widowed single mother taking care of her children while bombs fell in Japan-occupied Shanghai to one of the first employees of the newly formed UN's protocol division until she retired in 1959, remarrying to diplomat and founding member of the UN, VK Wellington Ku. Having lived into his late 90s, he, in contrast, reportedly credited his longevity to frequent walks, fewer snacks, and great care from his wife, Juliana. It is quite amazing, if you think about this year, the 70th anniversary, that she was really part of both of those events, and she's still alive now to talk about it. Born in 1905 in Tianjin, Juliana Ku was among the first female students enrolled at Fudan University, where she met her first husband, Clarence Young. In 1938, Mr. Young became Consul General of the Consulate General of China in Manila, Philippines, where he was killed for refusing to collect supplies for Japanese troops. With Shanghai still under Japanese control, Mrs. Ku relocated the family to America, where the promise of opportunities and education was greater, and the rest is history. America has been very good to her, so we're very grateful for that. Juliana Ku continues to reside here in New York City. Yeah!